what's up welcome back to my channel my name is Q and this is gonna be my first classroom haul um, so I got a couple boxes from Amazon so I'm gonna unbox those first and then show you guys the stuff that I have bought for my classroom sorry if y'all can hear barking the dog next door is very upset that he's outside okay so this first package that I have um, I'm gonna show the front of it came from a friend from Instagram she um, put up a post and asked what we were doing this summer and I told her I was building my classroom library and so she asked me if I had a Amazon wish list and if I did send it to her and she bought a couple books off of there so I'm gonna go ahead and open them up and see what I got it's been so tempting for me to just look and see what she got me but i'm trying to be good okay so she got me the first day jitters book um i don't know if y'all read this but i'm gonna read this to my kids on the first day um to spoil it because i'm gonna spoil it so basically the the main character in this book is hiding under the covers they're kind of dragging their feet um looks like dad's coming in telling you like you know how good school's gonna be you know, come on, you gotta go, you gotta go. It's the first day of school. Finally get him in the car and t comes to find out it's actually the teacher who was nervous about the first day of school. So I'm just gonna read this to them, maybe even send it to them before the first day of school so that they know like teachers have first day jitters too, it's not just you. Um, I think this book is really cute and there's some more books that kind of go, there's like a whole series on the back of this so thank you again to Quintica um, she sent me this book and bought it off my Amazon list she also bought me going down home with daddy and so thank you again so first day jitters and going down home with daddy thank you again all right so now to some stuff that I just couldn't wait to buy so I um, started the Amazon wish list um, because she asked me that. I didn't know that was even a thing. Oh, she wrote me a card. I didn't know that was even a thing. I hope your class enjoys these books. Have a great year. Flourish with Fleming. Super sweet. Thank you again. Oh, and she just started a YouTube channel, so y'all, please go check her out. All right. Um, but yeah, so I started this Amazon wish list so that I could... Well, so people... Who might want to help contribute to my classroom um, can make donations and see what I wanted or whatever so I created this list and I put some stuff on there um, but then I couldn't wait so I went ahead and bought a couple things so let's see what it is what it is so the lanterns that I bought so um, my classroom theme is basically gonna be like not necessarily rainbow but it's like black and rainbow so I bought these lanterns to hang on my ceiling just kind of to decorate so I think these are about $12 on Amazon for 20 pieces all different sizes the thing I bought was a staple gun cuz yeah I heard a staple gun is easier to use um, and I just think it would probably be good for me to have not only at school but I bought 80 morning meeting ideas so if you watch my summer reads for teachers haul, I started reading the morning morning meeting book um, and it tells you how to go about implementing the system. Um, but these are some good ideas for you to use. And I heard a lot of people talking about this one as like a um, sidekick to that book. So I decided to go ahead and buy um, this book to have some little ideas for what, what we can do in our circle in our morning meeting all right so the last thing i ordered on amazon is a laminator you guys can't see it let me open it so you can see it all right so bought the blue smart laminator um so i read the reviews on this one most of the reviews on on the um what is it? What's that other one that everybody's buying? The one on Amazon, they said that one and the 
anyways the most popular one on Amazon that I can't think of the brand right now they even sell it at Target anyways both like everywhere I looked people said that the laminator jams and it'll eat your paper or your whatever the project it is after a while and this one said it I didn't see any reviews that said this one did so I went out on a limb and bought this one instead of getting the one that everybody else has to see how well it works it also came with about 20 laminating sheets it came with some some little mini clothespins some wires some uh ringlets and i'm not really sure what that is it has some little goodies in there that were free so that's why i got that and then it also came with a hole puncher but yeah, so I got that from Amazon. Um, the only reason why I went ahead and bought it was because um, I want to go ahead and start laminating stuff. I mean, if <laughs> if I don't do anything else, I want to laminate like some of my little posters and stuff so that they're ready for the first day of school. I don't know how the laminator is going to work. I always hear people say that it's broken or it's not working or people are using it. So I'm just going to get my own and do the small projects before school starts. Oh yeah, and I forgot to show you guys my shirt that I got from She Can Teach Too on Instagram. Um, it says, Blessed and Highly Educated. I thought this was cute. I was going to wear it in my graduation photos, but I ordered an extra large. <laughs> um, and it was too big, so I didn't want to wear it. Um, hence why the sleeves are rolled. But anyways, I'm still going to support it, and that's why I bought it. Because um, most of the stuff was kind of sold out. But yeah, so... I'll put a link to her page so you can shop it if you want to. But I just love that. Blessed and highly educated, like blessed and highly favored. I like what you did there. All right, so the next thing I got was from Ikea. So I went and got some of these black stools. You can't see it. I haven't put it together. I got five black stools. So they have them on Amazon. I think it's like a five piece set for $50. But if you didn't know, Ikea has them for $5.99 a piece. So I got five of them. The rest of them are in my trunk. <laughs> but I only got this one so I can set it up. Um, but yeah, so I got these stools. Hopefully, I'll have like a small group table that I can sit these, you know, for my students to sit at. Or I can use them to change out the regular chairs for these chairs. Or if the kids just want to sit around the room in one of these, they'll have them. But yeah, so I wanted to get these so they match. And then um, on Father's Day, I was searching on OfferUp. And I just typed in the word teacher. And this whole post came up from a really nice guy who was selling his wife's teacher materials. Said she was a kindergarten teacher. She was giving, I mean, you know, basically giving it away because it was $5 for the books. $25 for the teacher materials so I asked him if I could come out there and get it because it was like nine o'clock at night and he said yes so I'm gonna show you guys what I got because it's too much to bring in here it's in our computer room so I'll just show you uh just keep in mind it's a mess in there because I haven't organized it or anything it literally looks just like it did when I brought it in so hold on So this is all the stuff. So um, the, once I got there, the lady based, I mean, all I saw in the picture was this and the box of books, which is under here. And when I got there, she was like, you can have it all. So what's funny is this was actually in my Amazon wish list, but I took it out as soon as I got it. She told me she had got this brand new, never used it. So that was a win. Um, so my decor was actually going to be like the chalkboard and bright um, color scheme or theme or whatever. Um, just because I wanted to keep it simple, find stuff that I can match with it real easy and, you know, keep my money. Because I don't want to spend too much money on decorations. But anyways, um, her decor pretty much matched the same colors. So I get to keep the same theme and... Um, you know, it just worked out. Look at that. So let me show you guys all the theme um, so you can see exactly what the other materials look like. So these are letters. Um, she kept these organized in little baggies. 
but this is the theme basically it's like black and I guess black and brights I don't know what you would even call that and polka dots I love polka dots so this was perfect all of this cost me $25 there's so much in here um, she says she taught first second and kinder and you know she has these stars which I think is cool she has some math games some reading games in here she has some um some uh like jeopardy style games where you have to match um like this is just so cool this little planetarium thing um these reading phones uh these oh these are like little tetris i didn't even, i haven't even gone through this stuff so it's like little tetris blocks she has like some phonics cards and stuff all in here um pocket chart stuff for addition i mean she has it all and she gave it all to me um all of the little bulletin board stuff so it's like the weather um days of the week all of the calendar stuff so that I can change all that up. There's some happy birthday cards in there. There's, man, y'all, there's so much stuff in here. There's dots. There's, I mean, everything you can probably think of for your bulletin board, she gave me all of that. And then she also gave me some bins that I had in my Amazon cards, the place value pocket chart, Asprey, um just some more weather stuff uh, with the seasons those are the place value things that go in the pocket chart i don't know exactly what this is but it looks like something i also had in my chart for um sight word game alphabet bingo i love bingo place value dice I'm like man this is good stuff um these are like some bulletin board headers that she gave me they're still attached they still have the little velcro adhesive stuff on the back of them she said she used these for Venn diagrams and then this is what I have not even looked at but um, I'm almost positive there's like a hundred or so books in here so yes the story of the three little pigs Chicka chicka boom boom. The big hungry bear. Alexander, who used to be rich last Sunday. Chicka chicka one, two, three. Whoa. David goes to school. Pigsty. I mean, y'all see, there's just hardcover books. There's paperback books. There's all kind of books in here. There's some level books in here uh what was that at the bottom yeah i mean i think from well, like one of my first big buys i did pretty good more days of the week bulletin board things 100th day countdown and then this box is full of stuff that one of my team teachers gave me. It's full of like, um, like borders and stuff. There's a pocket chart there. Um, gave me like post-it notes. These are all the bulletin boards and some of these came from the lady that I bought all that stuff from. But yeah, there's just so much in here. I'm out of breath. Um, oh, and then I got to show you guys the gumdrop thing she gave me. I think that's cool. So she gave me this too. So she used to put it outside the door and um, put the kids' names up there. That's cool. And then there's some more cool stuff. And this little basket. So it has like little little critters and stuff in it there's i don't know what that is <laughs> some are these magnets these are magnets they're little polka dot magnets there's some feathers in here some beads 
different color beads. So I wonder if she was doing, um, what do they call that? The brag tag type things. There's Velcro, little and Velcro. Uh, what do you call it? Pipe cleaners. There's some bingo dabbers. Some, some little cards for doing a great job. This one, 100th day. Congratulations on the 100th day. This one, very good job. This is all cool. This is all stuff that I had in my Amazon cart. And then some pointer finger pins. So this is cool. And then, so she gave me her baskets and they're still labeled. So I don't have to worry about that. Although I am gonna go buy some more baskets. So we're in my living room and I have kind of organized this whole little piece of whatever you want to call this, this little cabinet with my stuff. So top row is stuff from college slash some PD stuff that I've already showed you guys. This row right here is the special row. So this is the stuff that I've been gifted. So let's see, where's my, all right. So this is the stuff that my mentor teacher bought me. Um, so these are Sharpie markers. She got me some of those. Um, those those lights, I wanna call them lantern lights, but that's not what they are. Some playing cards because I taught my kids to play speed and I was gonna teach them how to play another game, but we ran out of time. There's some scotch tape in here. Um, sticky notes. Oops, sorry, stuff's falling down. Some expo markers, some pencils. She got me stuff for my planner, um, you know, stickers and whatnot, and then some thank you notes. So that's all good stuff. So um, thank you again to my mentor teacher, which I'm sure she probably won't watch this because she's not really big on YouTube and stuff like that. But I did thank her, gave her a card, hugged her real tight. Um, but yeah, so that's what I got from her. So this next row is stuff that I got from a friend. Hey girl. So um, as a gift, she gave me this giant Paw Patrol puzzle. I like puzzles. Um, so it's 46 pieces. Um, I think the kids will like it. I think kids still like Paw Patrol, right? We'll see. Um, next thing she got me was this uh, mathematics like puzzle game so the kids have to match this piece to what it actually adds up to so it's getting them to add without actually thinking of it so if I have some younger babies who might be struggling with like you know number sense maybe this will help and then this is the spelling version of that so it has the picture which I love and then you put the pieces together to spell the word so yes I love it so there's 20 puzzle sets um, so yes thank you again and then she got me this um, little Scrabble set for kids it's called Apple letters so they have to build a word um, and it could be for up to four players So let's see. So that's what she got me. She also gave me something else. Oh, and I forgot. Um, another thing that I got from the lady on OfferUp was this book right here, Kagan Cooperative Learning. I haven't actually read this book, but um, I'm gonna take a look at it sometime to see if there's some good stuff in there because I read this blog the other day and this lady said that she had gotten some kind of technique or strategy from Kagan. So I'm like, okay, my reticular activating system is picking up on this, this person. So I need to read this book. All right, so let's move on over to the other shelf. Oops. All right, so I've kind of organized these. So these are some books that I have bought um, from like half price books and stuff. And some of these I bought last, well, um, like my first semester of senior year when I had to read 40 books. So these are the books that I've deemed as too mature slash um, 
might be a little too old for our first graders so i put the first grade books on the top shelf so um this is a book that my mentor teacher got me it's called freedom soup and i actually haven't read it yet um but it's one of it's gonna be one of our diverse books to read and then just ask i've actually read this book i think it is very powerful um, it's by Sonia so Soda Mayer. I think that's how you say her name. I, I'm not sure. But anyways, she said she wrote this book because she had diabetes. And, and sometimes kids are afraid to play with someone if they're different. So the book just talks about how this person has this. You know, instead of just looking at me or leaving me out, just ask me what what it is that I have or whatever. And then... Yes, these are the other books that I have. My friend Sasha also gave me Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, but the um, heart, the board book. So thank you for that. She got me Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? And then the last one was the Very Hungry Caterpillar. So those are some of the books that I've gotten and materials I've gotten donated to our classroom. I'm tired. <laughs> All right, so the last two things that I actually bought were from my school. <sighs> so I got two of them because Michael's was having a sale on them. Don't ask me why I got two different colors, but I got them. So not really even sure what I'm gonna do with them, but I have them. So here's the good thing about them. So I wasn't gonna buy them. I was telling Trey like, huh, maybe I shouldn't get them. But I went to Michael's with a friend and we walked down the, aisle, the clearance aisle, which I didn't even know they had. And they had these on sale for $10.49 when they were actually on sale. Like the other ones on the next aisle over were on sale for uh, I think $12.99. So yeah, I got two of these. Oh, that's why. That's fine. So I got it for $10, $10.49 because it's broken on the back, which is fine with me. Doesn't hurt my feelings at all. Same thing for this one, $10.49. I don't know why this one, because it's broken right here. I don't mind it. Won't hurt my feelings. But yeah, so I have two of these. I just wanna go ahead and say thank you to each and every person who has bought something, donated, or given me money. Um, it's going straight to my classroom because that's going to be my life for the next year. <laughs> um, and if I had to call out names, it'd be too much. But yes, if you gave me anything um, from, I don't know, I guess the start of the year to now, thank you so much for donating to my classroom. I really appreciate it. I'm sure it will be put to good use and my students will love it. Yes, at this point, those are all the materials that I've bought for my classroom. I'm doing my best to make sure that I don't spend a ton of money. Um, I only want to spend the money that I have collected from different people um, because as you know, teachers don't get paid until the end of the month and I have to actually be in the hole for one entire month. So I'm trying to save my money the best I can, make wise decisions. So that's why I've been asking you guys on Instagram what you think, if I should buy this, should I not? On top of the fact that right now it's July the 1st and they haven't exactly said what it's gonna look like when we go back into the classroom. So that was my classroom haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sure I'll be back with another one. So stay tuned to see what that looks like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below if you have any recommendations for a first year, first grade teacher. I would highly appreciate it and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.